Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is a different setup than usual. Um, I am in my room, uh, but I decided that today I was going to do a rundown video on the Don't Be Bitter mixtape that I had put out. So to start off, I have received actually some great feedback from it. I think that the projects that I'm going to have coming out soon, and by soon I have one that I'm trying to put out, um, towards the end of this year 2020 but um i have one that is like my basically so like this one that i'm trying to put out in the end of 2020 or towards the end of 2020 is like an experimental one it's definitely not like official mixtape it's just more like a micro mixtape has a couple tracks but a different genre than i've normally than i than i've done my first one um so and that's the thing i'm trying to be that kind of artist that is not stereotypically one or you know one or two type of genres i want to be a couple different genres and try different things so um the second one is um going to be different uh <laughs> that's what all i can really say is gonna be different but i have gotten great feedback i posted my things or my uh, mixtape on Loom, which is an app on the App Store. If you haven't downloaded it, it's like for underground artists. So I think it is cool and I've gotten great feedback. I've actually gotten people who want to collab with me and just just great, great stuff. So, and also SoundCloud, I've gotten great feedback. Um, I have a couple of songs that have more plays than others, of course, um, but that's awesome because I kind of expected that certain songs would do better than others, but um, as with every mixtape, I love everything that I put into it and um, I'm so happy. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if not, I, or not if not, if you haven't heard it yet, I will put a link in the description so you can um, see what it's all about. Um, also on my channel, I have four videos out already, music videos that are from this mixtape. So I hope you guys uh, have watched or go watch it. Um, I think they're all so cool and cute. So yeah, anyway. So I wanted to break down this mixtape and I also have a little announcement at the end of this video that I will, you know, spill the beans on a little bit, but um, I'm gonna go track by track and just kind of let you guys know what I was thinking, what the song is about, and um, yeah, so here we go. Track number one is called Cali Baby and it is produced by Noden. Um, so that song on its own i think is a bop uh i had written it when i was at the park with one of my best friends and it was really late at night and we were just like i really i told her i was like i really want to get into music like i really want to start writing and so this was legit like the first song i had written um and i just was like whoa like this sounds awesome like i need to put this out there i need to make it good mix it all this type of stuff um and really just put it out there. So that was actually one of the first singles that I put out from this mixtape. Um, and I put those singles out on Loom. Loom is like one of my go-tos when it comes to posting singles. So this song itself, Kelly Baby, is about obtaining something, um, and in this case, like love that, um, you know, you're not sure if the other person really likes you like that you know what i mean so um cali baby is like why don't you be my cali baby um i know you have all these men all these other people driving you crazy like you know i know that there are other people talking to you um it's more about like choose me i want to be your lover or i want to be your boo you know what i mean <laughs> like so that's just kind of the vibe and that was the whole idea behind cali baby and i definitely had this inspirational cali aesthetic that i wanted to go with for this whole mixtape and that as the first song just sounded perfect so um that's that so track number two is the title of the mixtape which is don't be bitter and this one is produced by Ritaman. and this was honestly one of my favorite songs to write out of the entire thing because i just like had a lot of like thoughts in my head about a previous relationship i was in where i was like i feel like i'm not being bitter but bitter about certain things that happened in the relationship so um in the song it's like don't be bitter because our love is so sweet that's legit like don't be bitter because everything was so good and that now that it's gone like you're upset you know what i mean so that was the whole 
idea behind Don't Be Bitter itself. Um, and honestly, it's one of my favorites that I have written to this day. Um, but definitely the stuff that I have working on now, oh my God, is so different, so much more um, developed than a lot of this. But I still, I, I just love my first mixtape and I love that song a lot. So, um, so yeah. So track number three is called Feelings Are Gone. Um, so this one was something that I had, um, so back when I was in high school, I had thought about writing music, but I was like, I don't know. And I had an idea and the song title that I came up with was Feelings Are Gone. And the whole concept was that, you know, our love was awesome at one point, um, but it wasn't the love that I was looking for. And, um, you know, my feelings are kind of dissipating now and I don't really feel bad about that. So that's kind of the idea of that one. Um, that one was definitely different to write because the melody was different than um, what I was kind of going for in the beginning when I first started writing it. Um, but then as, you know, a couple years went on and I didn't really think about it like that, I started being like, wow, okay. I really want to use this as a song in my mixtape because it expra explains how I was feeling and how I felt from this past relationship I was in. So um, that's that on that one. But that one was produced by Lee and that one is, it's it's really good. I, I think this entire mixtape is awesome. So if you haven't heard it yet, go give it a listen. Um, but we're gonna move on with the next ones. All right, so track number four is called um, Him colon bittersweet and this is a different type of song and by that it is more of like a rap um it still has singing portions in it and it's very catchy it's one of my favorites the video to this is awesome it's totally like um a little 80s inspired mixed with like some you know 90s like not references but visuals and i really thought that this song gave off a strong purple and blue energy so i definitely incorporated that into the lighting of the video so you should definitely see it um and basically the concept of this is like um all these people are falling for this one guy or for this one person and you're kind of just like mm, i'm not going to be that person to fall for him and so um it's it's pretty interesting basically um it's a, it's a lot about more sexual ideas. Um, so you should definitely give it a listen because it's hard to explain exactly what it is, but when you listen to it and you get the concept, it clicks. So that is my advice to go watch the video because it is out on my channel. And Him Bittersweet is produced by J Dot. Um, so, and I, I love his beats, they're awesome. So <laughs> my fifth song off the mixtape is called Laughter. Now this song was very personal to write um, it honestly came to me very quickly um, because I had thought about a concept like this for a while. So basically, laughter is about um, dealing with a partner who may have very fluctuating and um, recurring mood swings, especially times where things seem awesome and you know you guys are laughing about everything and very happy, and then there goes to times where they're just mean and like really not like abusive, but like aggressive. So it's like, it's a, it's a hard concept for a lot of people to grasp, but a lot of people know what I'm talking about. Like I've been there and I know what that feels like and I will never let myself go there again in my whole entire life. I will never let someone treat me a certain way other than how I expect and desire to be treated. So um, laughter was very about, um, you know, that mix of mood swings and having to deal with the conflicting personality, but also loving the person in the end because of who they are, but not what they do. But you take into consideration everything they've done to make you feel that way. So that was really the whole message behind that. And um, this one was produced by Kudasai. And honestly, Kudasai beats are so good, especially because I connect so spiritually with the way I write to what I hear. So when I'm thinking about, oh, like, this is exactly the concept, like this in a sound is what I'm trying to feel. So it's a very spiritual thing with me and like music. So that's the whole vibe off of the laughter track. So the sixth track off of the mixtape is called On My Mind. 
And this one um, was pretty cool to write too. Um, I remember writing this, I came up with the melody and all that when I was at work. I like to think in my head when I'm quiet. So like if I'm ever quiet, it's cause I'm thinking of things and like different sounds and just a whole bunch of stuff, lyrics, everything, concepts. So it was really interesting, but basically this song is about someone being on your mind that you really don't want them on your mind, but they somehow keep coming back and you keep thinking about it. Um, so it's also kind of like a reflection song on like figuring out, you know, why do, does this person keep coming into your head? You know what I mean? So um, definitely a good song and it's very catchy. And this one was produced by Rare Bear, um, at least the beat. Um, I always write all of my music, um, all lyrics that I have come up with are all my own. And it's just, it's, it's very um, rewarding to write your own music because I feel like a lot of people sadly don't. And it's like, how do you not come up with this by yourself? Like, you know what I mean? Or at least the lyrics. Like I know people use beats from other people, but give credit in production and that's totally okay. It's just, I feel like when you are saying that you are a writer or a songwriter or a singer that you should definitely write your own music. So I'm very happy that all my music is my own and that I write everything. Um, the beats though, I do get from other people. It's production, collaboration type thing. So, um, but best believe when I am kind of done with this, not mixtape phase, but um, getting my ideas for mixtapes out and I decide to actually do a full length album, of a whole nother concept and whatever oh all are gonna be my beats like you already knew so <laughs> anyway um the seventh track on the mixtape is called my love and this song i wrote when i was in california um it was for a trip i had taken to go see marina in concert and this was in october of last year of 2019 so i had written it and i was just i fell in love with the concept because i knew that i had lived this concept that being that um, there was someone that I felt attraction to at one point that um, I kind of felt like I was just like, not a side piece, but somebody that um, they didn't take serious enough to want to be in a relationship with, yet they want to benefit in all the other things that come with the relationship. So it was very like um, strugglesome, yet um, awakening, eye awakening for me. So um, definitely a great song. It's more of a slow paced song, but it's it's nonetheless beautiful. And the rapping portion or the slow rap portion of it is, is awesome. I just, I love it. So um, this is also produced by Rare Bear. So I, uh, I love, I just love his beats. Um, anyway, Two Spent is the eighth and final track on the mixtape and Two Spent is produced by Gold House. And this one is awesome. I mean, when I talk about having a very like caring voice and by like a caring message, I mean like you're able to make a sad song also seem lo-fi mixed with like a little bit of like mystery. I don't know. So it's hard to explain, but um, Too Spent was really about feeling in that case too spent on somebody else. So you've invested so much energy and time into somebody that you just feel like your energy is wasted. Not wasted as in like it's wasted, but it's gone. Like you feel like, you know, you spent all your energy on this idea of something that, you know, may not be what you thought it was. So that's kind of the idea from Too Spent. Um, but this whole mixtape on its own, Don't Be Bitter, was about love, getting over love, accepting the fact that you can be okay after love and um, the feelings that you feel during that process are all normal and natural and should be expressed. So that's the whole takeaway from the Don't Be Bitter mixtape. Um, now, I definitely had inspiration from just the Cali aesthetic, like the whole, you know, pinks and blues and pastels, cause that was what I was thinking of. Shimmery, beautiful, shining, that's literally, my whole idea for um, Don't Be Bitter. So I decided what would be cooler than to have three inspired Diamante Cosmetics highlighters um, in collab with the Don't Be Bitter uh, mixtape. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you guys the colors, the 
Um, I actually have swatch videos and swatch pictures, like professional swatch pictures um, that I will put up once I show you guys these components and the colors in their components. Um, that way you can see a better view because lighting is not that good right now. I have, I'm um, facing my window, so it's natural lighting right now. Um, so I will post those pictures right when I'm showing you guys these. So without any further ado, I have three new ones for you guys. And of course, these are what they look like. Um, I will show you one up close to be, you know, so you don't get confused. But Diamante Cosmetics is my small indie makeup brand. And this is a diamond dust highlighter. These are literally my favorite highlighters to ever use. Of course, they're my favorite because they're my own, but also because um, the colors are very pretty. And there are some that I've made that I just can't find on the market, like color wise. And the way they complement all types of skin tones, I just, I love. So, without any further ado, this is going to be the first shade I show you, and this is Him Bittersweet. Now, Him Bittersweet is definitely a song title, as you can tell I had just talked about it. Um, but this is a, um, so first off, it is a non-color um, highlight, and by that, I mean, like, when you put it on your face, you're not gonna see gold. It's, like, it's gonna be clear until you get into lighting, and it's more of a topper, so it's a little more sheer, but it has really, really pretty reflect it has purple and blue reflex which just cause a beautiful effect in the light so um, I will go ahead and show you the inside if you can kind of see that shimmering duochrome looking it's just so pretty like I'm looking at it and I can just see how the light is catching those and it's so pretty so I'm gonna show you guys of course close-up pictures and just watches of these um, I would now but the lighting is crap so <laughs> um, anyway um, so the second one is the Don't Be Bitter one, which is inspired by the entire mixtape itself and the song. So this one is a silver slash red reflect um, highlighter. And by that, I mean it's like a silver payoff, but it has beautiful red re reflects in the sun. Um, this one again is similar to Him Bittersweet, as in it's also a topper, but this is more pigmented than the topper of Him Bittersweet. This one um, goes on a little silver, a little um like whitish like you know not white as in like white but like clear white so like you'll see what i mean when you see swatches but um this is what it looks like inside so if you can kind of see that red shift as i'm kind of turning it there's a little bit of a red shift there it looks way better in better lighting um but that is that so i will show you guys of course more pictures and all that um, and then the last one, which is Cali Baby. This is of course the first track off of my mixtape. This one was made because I felt like I didn't have a super reflective yet gold bronze shade yet. So I wanted to introduce that into the line of highlighters that I have. And this is Cali Baby. So it is a darker bronze gold, but it's still super pretty. And I feel like if you can get in a little closer, you'll see that there are holographic graphic microfine glitters. You'll see it better when um, I post the swatches, but this one is stunning. It is just medium enough, but dark enough to be a bronze, but also gold. So definitely a beautiful color. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're excited for these three highlighters. These three highlighters are gonna be launching on my birthday, my 20th birthday, so it is going to be awesome. These are gonna be $8 a piece on uh, diamontecosmetics.weebly.com. Um, I have my whole payment system through PayPal, um, so if you guys are you know, wanting to try it out, then definitely, uh, I'm just excited to have let you guys play with these and see how they are. Um, and I will go ahead and show you all those swatches and all that stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this inspired you. I hope you guys got the idea of Don't Be Bitter and the whole, you know, concept behind it. And um, I hope you guys listen to it more and get into the vibe, you know? So um, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,